When the United States entered World War I in 1917, it was unprepared for the new military technology and tactics that had developed, including tanks, airplanes, poison gas, and tunneling under trenches. The conflict had evolved into a bloody stalemate, and the United States military was equipped with the then-modern Model 1903 Springfield rifle, lagging behind in machine guns. American soldiers were issued a helmet similar to the British MKI tin hat, and the United States continued to wear this basic helmet until 1940. However, the United States had sought to develop its own helmet during the war, and Dr. Bashford Dean played a significant role in this effort. But Dean was not the only individual involved in the quest to develop a superior helmet, as the French also had an active experimental helmet program during the war. Dean, born in 1867, was an American zoologist and armor expert who served on the board at both the New York Natural History Museum and the Metropolitan Museum of Art. As a graduate of the College of New York City, Dean earned his Ph.D. at Columbia University, where he taught zoology and became a noted authority on the subject of medieval arms and armor. He also acquired many impressive items, such as the largest collection of Japanese armor outside of Asia, and was instrumental in establishing the arms and armor collection at the Met. Despite misleading information in his book, Dean's role in the United States Army's helmet development was questionable, as he may have weaseled his way into the program by touting his experience with armor and medieval helmets. During the war, the Metropolitan Museum of Art placed its arms and armor department at the disposal of the war effort, with Dean and other scientists, metallurgists, and designers working on helmet designs. Many of the designs began as plaster of Paris, and then into sheet metal prototypes, leading to some designs reaching the production stage. The Model 1 is missing from the list of helmets developed during the First World War. The first known American experimental helmet is the Model 2, based on the standard helmets worn in Greece and Italy in the 15th century. Around 2,000 of those helmets were produced by the Ford Motor Company of Detroit, Michigan. No mention in Dean's books or records of the era is made of a Model 3, but author-slash-collector Chris Armold suggested it may have been one of so many one-offs. The Model 4, designed by armor expert Daniel Tashow of the Metropolitan Museum of Art, was only produced in small numbers. The Model 5 experimental helmet was similar in shape to the Model 2, and about 2,000 were produced by the Philadelphia firm of Hale and Kilburn. Daniel Tashow also is credited with designing the Model 6, which featured the novel concept of being able to tilt forward on the wearer's head, where in the lower position the brim doubled as a face mask. The Model 7, known as the Sentinel's Helmet, resembled something a medieval knight might have worn. The Model 8 featured the basic shape of the Model 5 but included a visor to protect the wearer's face while eye slits provided a reasonable field of view. The subsequent designs, including the Model 9, Model 10, Model 11, Model 12, Model 13, Model 14, and Model 15, likely never progressed past the drawing board. This experimental helmet, known as, the Liberty Bell, gained attention for its unique shape, which resembles an off-center bell. There has been speculation about its model number, but no evidence has confirmed this. A Stars and Stripes article from November 1918 reported that some models of the helmet were stamped with an image of the Liberty Bell, and a rare example was acquired by a collector in 2012. The Liberty Bell was not associated with Dr. Dean, but instead was designed by Major James E. McNary and submitted for consideration as a replacement for the Model 1917 helmet. Despite initial reports that the helmet was accepted by the Army, it was disliked by troops and officially abandoned in 1920. The story has flaws, as the preferences of soldiers have rarely mattered in military history. Dr. Dean was also responsible for spreading debunked tales, including one about the French General Louis-Auguste Adrian and the development of the Model 1915 Adrian helmet. <laughs>